Hi everyone, welcome to Yasso Finance TV. We're here with Ryan, so Newcastle, uh, one Huddersfield nil. Yep. Uh, we'll start with, uh, did you hear about David Wagner's comments to Rafa Benitez before the game? Sort of saying like, he knows how we're going to set up, he knows what team we're going to play, he knows what's essentially going to happen. Do you think I was a bit overconfident? To be fair, thanks, about our mind games, yeah. you know. He knew kind of, he does know the importance of the game as well, you know. We like to have both kind of, in a kind of sticky situation now. Yeah. The win was really important. I think he was just trying a bit of mind games, uh, just to kind of take the pressure off his team, but it didn't work, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Um, talking about like the first half, I thought we were absolutely, we absolutely dominated yeah. the game, and we should have had um, chances put away. I mean, Dwight Gale missed an absolute hatful for me, and you know, we could you've have been 2-0 up. You've got to take one of them at least. Yeah. You know, the one where he, he tries to lob the keeper, just get around him, yeah. get around him and side for at home. Um, but first half, definitely, the way we play, we definitely deserve to be one up. But like I say, we got the win, that's all that matters. You know, that's us in 35 points, closer to safety, and that's, that's what counts. Yeah, I mean, we look at the league table, it's a lot of people say that that's pretty much us there now on 35 points. Uh, was it seven clear now of the bottom three? We've still got a bit of yeah. a bit of way to go. You know, it could all go horribly wrong, as yeah. we've seen it happen for some teams. But are you confident now that we're going to be oh, staying up? Absolutely. I mean, the run we're on, we're considering we're a team down at the bottom of the league. We're probably one of the best runs in the league. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, we've only lost to City and Liverpool this this no dis- calendar year. No disgrace, is it? So, yeah. like, that's like three. Is it three home wins in a row now? Man, you. Yeah, without conceding. Southampton and. You know, that's awesome for him, really. Like, yeah. I don't think he will even need 40 points. I think that's obviously <laughs> obviously the benchmark, can I? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, do you want to just start that one again? Sorry. Aye. Uh, sorry. Uh, so, sorry, yeah, saying? 35 points. 35 points. Fairly t- common relegation of um, surviving aye, relegation. Sorry, um, aye. So, 40 points, obviously, the, the kind of safety matter of the goals for, but I don't even think we'll need that. Yeah. You know, we don't even need another win. I mean, a few draws, I think 38 points, but, you know, Weirdly enough, like the season we've had, if we get a good run in season, we can finish like tenth. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That'd be unbelievable. You know I mean? wouldn't it? it could happen. Yeah. It's possible. I mean, in the second half, Huddersfield for me, they really did seem to come back into it. They came us with a few more facts they did for the yeah. first half, but a massive part of the reason we won today was the introduction of Slimani. Yeah. Did you feel that was a massive positive impact for the squad? Yeah, definitely. I just think, like, obviously, we've all been waiting for him as well. You yeah. know, it's the. He's a player that can uh, just give us a bit extra at an important time of the season. And we come on and he just looks like he's got himself about. He looks, you know, he's got a good touch and stuff. Like he gets himself about. He's, he's more a handful, you know, than Perez and Gale, obviously. Hostler is out, so you've got a bit of kind of aerial threat as well So yeah. for crosses and stuff. So, again, it's just a, a good time to get, have him back. And I think he done well when he came on, you know. I mean, particularly like when I, when I was watching it, it's like, like Kennedy, like Yedley, and they didn't really seem to be up to it today, did they? No. Yedlin's a bit rash, you know. He, yeah. he kind of co- he tries to be a bit too, a bit too kind of cocky sometimes, you know. And he, he lost the ball in certain situations in the first half, you know. It can create a goal, cause, but you know he, he works hard. And like I say, we got the win at the end, so that's that's really all we were looking for. When I mean, you say we don't need a win, I mean we've got uh, next one's Leicester away, we've got Everton away, Arsenal at home, West Brom at home, Watford away. Do you think for me there's a fixture that we can definitely pick up some points? Yeah, you know, not. maybe not, you know, maybe not a win, but definitely, well, at least West Brom, we should be winning, beating that one, shouldn't we? Yeah, not even just because West Brom, I think just because we're really confident at home now. Yeah. Uh, and that's for me, that's should be another three points, you know. Uh, Leicester and Everton, you know, I'd quite fancy is there to pick up, maybe no wins, but at least maybe a, points, yeah. a couple of points, so that's like another five points, and then before we even talk about Arsenal, Spurs, and who else we got? Um, Chelsea. Chelsea in the last game of the season, so we could be safe by the, the time the game's come, but you know, obviously we still want to play well, but I think just getting to that closer to 40, can relax, you know, we're safe in the Premier League for next season, um, things can, you know, really look up for next season, if we get, a, if we get the sale as well with the club, which could could happen but we had to be a Premier League team for that to happen so um, again it just looks I'm just buzzing I've came up the way through Glasgow <laughs> the day and you know got a, got a win oh, brilliant you know um, just to finish off the interview can you give us a, a three team prediction to, to go down uh, definitely West Brom unfortunately for them they're just it's been a long time coming but <laughs> there's no, they can't claw that back not even a miracle can claw that back Um Stoke City for me and I think Southampton I mean that was a big game for them and they got absolutely hammered so that just shows that you know if you're getting hammered by a team that's around you you're in trouble you know uh, 
I just don't think, even with the change of manager, I don't think there's, I don't think there's enough time to salvage that. So, they're my three teams. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Thank you. Cheers.